welcome to the GCSE Design Technology Product Design Talk, where I'll give you an overview of the course and what you can expect from the next two years if you choose this subject. We run the AQA course, which is composed of two parts. First, a NEA or non-exam assessment, commonly known as coursework, which is worth 50% of your overall GCSE and carries a maximum of 100 marks. Secondly, a two-hour exam, which is also 50% and a maximum of 100 marks. The NEA consists of six key areas which you are assessed against, but all are intertwined throughout the project to create a cohesive and iterative product. Section F, Analyzing and Evaluation, is one of the most important areas due to the fact that if designs aren't constantly reviewed, there is no room for change or adaptions to progress. We are very fortunate to have fantastic facilities and materials that you are able to work with to ensure that not only do you learn as many practical skills as we can provide, but you will also be able to use these to problem solve and analyse different techniques and materials for your product. From GCSE DT, I enjoyed designing products and being able to create innovative prototypes that allowed me to explore different designers and movements. I enjoyed having the freedom to use the wide range of machines that we are lucky to have and really enjoyed the manufacturing process of the NEA. In Year 10, we will start off the year with a drawing and materials project where you will get to design and make a product which will give you a chance to work on your drawing techniques and use all of the tools and equipment in the workshop to build up your experience and knowledge of how to work with woods, metals, plastics, as well as joining and finishing methods. In Term 3, we will start a mock NEA which will give you the chance to experience what a GCSE product entails and I will be able to give you one-to-one -one detailed feedback on what we are looking for in order to achieve the top band of marks. Alongside both of these projects, theory lessons will be incorporated throughout and are planned so that the theory you learn is directly linked to the practicals you are doing in order to embed the information. Exam style questions are given from the start to ensure students are used to the format and style in preparation for your Year 11 exam. On the 1st of June each year, the NEA contexts are released by the exam board and we will start your GCSE project as close to this day as we can. In Year 11, you directly continue on with your NEA project where the expected deadline for submission is around February March. Time is given to make final amendments and adjustments to ensure students are achieving the highest grade possible. After your NEA hand-in, the last couple of months before the exam is dedicated to a revision of all the theory topics and exam style tests to ensure students are comfortable in an exam setting. There are many things that I enjoyed about GCSE DT. One being the trips that we went on that allowed me to learn new things such as designers and their approaches to their work. I was also able to make new friends and one of the main things, believe it or not, that I enjoyed the most about DT was the research part of the NEA. Absolutely anyone can choose DT Product Design GCSE. You may choose this because it will be directly useful for your A-level or college options, but you should also choose this subject because it is what you enjoy. As you can see, there are plenty of choices of how DT can prepare you for your future, but it also gives you more life skills than any other subject that's available. This gives you time management, solving real world problems, communication skills, accuracy, awareness of culture and community, data analysis, hand-eye coordination and teamwork. Also, I felt such a need for more girls to take DT, as sometimes it is often seen as a masculine subject, and areas such as architecture are sometimes overlooked by a lot of girls. My advice to anyone picking DT is that while the theory may seem difficult at first, once understood it becomes so easy and goes hand in hand with your NEA making that simpler to deal with. Also, always keep on top of your deadlines as it will cause you less stress coming to exams. I was able to rely on the support of my classmates, allowing me to learn new information that I've been able to develop with me whilst taking it for A-level. I decided to continue as an A-level student because I felt really supported by the staff members that make up the DT team. I felt very privileged to have access to machines and resources that not a lot of other schools have.